Okay, I tried to record one of these earlier today, but YouTube ate it, so let's try it again. Uh, I know I've been promising this video of the basement for a while, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Let me uh, flip the camera around and we'll get started. Alright, so obviously we're at the top of the stairs here, and we had this door removed, and this wall knocked out here. Uh, just to try to open up the space and make it all seem like one continuous part of the house. So going down the stairs, I apologize for the shakiness, I'm doing it on an iPhone. So here we are, we just have our, uh, our elliptical and uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, this is the Squirrel Girl uh, comic that uh, GP Wombat and I were in. If we zoom in, you can see us there. So, got that hung, and then I have a uh, Stan Lee signed Spider-Man right there as well. And we'll start over here, just uh, get the, the playroom area out of the way to begin with. This is my kid's play area, obviously. Um, so, this is actually pretty clean for the play area. Um, but all of this was unfinished. Uh, about two years ago, and I guess it's been finished for about that long now, but I just have been uh, delinquent on this video. So we have these uh, built-in uh, bookcases here and everything. Um, this, Those doors there, those go back to just a storage area. You can see by the, the cat door, that's where the cat boxes are and everything back there. Um, just going around this room. So the whole basement's about... Uh, the finished space I think is like 1,600 square feet or so, uh, but this is just all kids area. Get this out of the way first, uh, and then we come back here, and this is just a hallway that goes through. Uh, kind of makes a big circle around this part of the basement, uh, and this is just where I have a bunch of artwork and everything. That's uh, a Pac-Man uh, art that my kids gave me for Father's Day this this year, and the rest of this stuff is a bunch of uh, it's a combination of stuff I've bought and stuff I've gotten from like video game companies and everything. Um, got some Plants vs Zombie guys down there, um, and other stuff is just stuff like I picked up from artists at comic shows, that type of stuff. That's a uh, Arthur Adams Baroness uh, that I got from a comic uh, convention. This is a Tony Hawk skateboard. It came from a Target end cap several years back. Uh, G.I. Joe record, uh, Raccoon City sign. Uh, let's see here. Back this way, we've got some Transformers uh, artwork and. This is just a Jeff Lee signed Cubert. And then in this closet here, coming back this way, this is kind of a mess, but, uh, and it's kind of dark in there. But you can see this is where all the plastic instruments come to die. Um, so, Tony Hawk skateboards, DJ Hero stuff, steering wheels, all the stuff you're not going to get out very often. And so, continuing down this way, we have uh, more artwork. Uh, there's a Todd McFarlane Titanfall 2 thing we got at E3 last year. Uh, that was just a Art of Video Games exhibit stuff. Various uh, video game pins. Some more artwork. That's from uh, Javis Ray. He's a local artist that does a uh, Legacy Control. Uh, is his webcomic. And this is just some more, uh, some Deadpool artwork. And then we'll take a right here to begin with. And you can see this is where my arcade games and pinball machines are at. As well as, this is some like, some of the newer G.I. Joe stuff here where they were reissuing figures. Um, 
that case, there's my Grayskull, some He-Man stuff. Uh, that's a cell from the the old He-Man uh, cartoon. Uh, and then all my Masters of the Universe figures are in this uh, this big gumball machine. They don't stand up very well, so I thought this was a uh, clever solution. Uh, Mrs. Shipwreck uh, saw it on a local, uh, our neighborhood website. And we just filled it up with uh, Masters of the Universe toys. Worked out pretty well. And... This is my uh, Hulk pinball table. Um, it's got like outstanding graphics on it. Uh, this actually came out of a uh, a farm auction. It was in a barn, uh, just with a bunch of like farming equipment, and so it was pretty dirty and everything. But got it all cleaned up and works great now. Um, this is my millipede cocktail table. Um, it's a millipede. It's fun. Um, a lot of my arcade machines, they're just all stuff that I've found locally for, for, uh, good prices. So, uh, other than, I mean, Donkey Kong is something I would seek out, but, uh, everything else, uh, just happened to be in the neighborhood. Um, so this is Kings of Steel. Again, this one has, uh, the, the back display on it is just amazing. Um... <clears throat> Lots of, or a few G.I. Joe jets up there. Then circling back around this way, we've got the air hockey table and my displays of uh, all my uh, G.I. Joe figures. So those are there. And there's a second display there. Then we're back to where, where we started at. Uh, back around this way, we've got, we put in a, in a full bath down here. And the toilet, very nice. Um, <clears throat> then we have, I've got a small display of Transformers here. Uh, most of my original Transformers were stolen in a move uh, back when I was a kid. So I've slowly just kind of like pieced together some of my collection. A lot of this stuff is newer stuff. Um, there's a Donald Duck Transformer that I got when I went to Japan to visit Cheapy several years ago. And this is some more Transformers stuff, and then we'll head back down this way. Here's all my Reds uh, bobbleheads and memorabilia. And this closet here. <clears throat> this is where all the board games and... Legos and puzzles and all that type of stuff uh, reside. So you'll see a, there's a lot of Lego Dimension stuff down there that still needs to get opened. All right, and then we get over to the the bar area. So this is kind of uh, it's all themed around the Reds here. So. Uh, this is just more Reds memorabilia and that type of stuff. And still decorating down here, but getting there. And then over here, we've got the kegerator and a beer fridge, Keurig. Uh, this TV here, it uh, does normal TV stuff, but it also... Uh, can mirror anything that's in the the main area that we're getting ready to go to for uh, anything that's showing in there can get mirrored out here um, and yep this is just more of the bar area and just cabinets and stuff but and then we'll get to the area that I'm guessing most people are most interested in so we'll come in into the dark room here and turn on the lights Okay, so this is my my game room. Um, you can see around this way some, and then uh, so the main thing I've got this BenQ uh, short throw projector um, that is what I run everything 
up to. Uh, and that is that goes to a 10 foot screen here. Um, then we had uh, we had this custom built console down here that uh, I designed so that everything would fit in it. Um, so I can just go down here and go through the consoles that are connected. Everything's connected up and I can uh, press a button and it will turn everything to the right inputs and uh, uh, all you have to do is hit the power button on the console and ready to go. Uh, so let's see here, we got PlayStation, there's a Retron 5 there, um, there's a NES, uh, Switch, a, uh, Super Nintendo, um, all the Nintendos, the older stuff, uh, they're all RGB modded that they go then to a, uh, GW SCART Switch, uh, and then into a Frame Meister, um, and... Yes, Cheapy did see, he just chimed in, that there is the doorbell chime up there as well. I have it plugged into the, to the ceiling. Um, that's for the, the Ring uh, smart doorbell. Then, okay, going back to the consoles, that's a Japanese PS2 Slim, uh, a PS2, a Atari 7800, uh, I believe that one just has an S-Video mod. Some of the older stuff have only been modded for S-Videos, but they still get all... Everything gets upconverted into HDMI. Um, Sega Master System, a ColecoVision, an Intellivision, uh, original Xbox. Uh, that's just my cable box and the Logitech hub. I think there's a PlayStation TV and there's an Apple TV back in that uh, area as well. Uh, then this is my Denon receiver. So it's a 7.2 uh, receiver, and I've got all of the uh, the speakers uh, up in the ceiling, which uh, it's a personal preference. I think it sounds great, and it just saves a lot of room in the in the room itself. Um, and yeah, so there's seven seven speakers you can see placed up in the ceiling, and then there's two subwoofers. Uh, on each side of the of the seating area here, one there, and then one over here, and then let's bet back to the the consoles. Down here is just a bunch of switches, uh, an S Video switch, and that's the Frame Meister there on the right, uh, an HDMI switch, and a composite switch. Um, there's all of the SCART switches are hiding behind uh, consoles. Um, because there's no need to actually uh, have any line of sight to them because they're all auto-switching. Then we have an Xbox One, an Xbox 360, a PS3, um, a Neo Geo, the Sega CD 32X uh, Genesis Hybrid. Uh, then we have a Saturn, a 3DO... Uh, a PS4, a Wii and a Wii U, which are soon being moved to a different slot because I'm making room for this Duo R that I just picked up yesterday. Uh, so I'll have to get that hooked up, but it's already RGB modded and, and region free. Um, and then I've got a Dreamcast, an N64, and lastly a GameCube. So I I think that's everything that's hooked up in the console, and then the way I handle all of the the cables and everything is I simply have this uh, this like five inch uh, pit here in the back where I can pull off these two pieces. Uh, there's the shorter piece there and the longer piece that goes the length, and I can just pull those off, and all the cables and all the power cords. There's, uh, I don't want to open this up right now during this video, but, uh, maybe in a different video I can show what it looks back, like back there. Uh, but there's two long power, uh, surge protectors. Everything's plugged into those, and those are mounted to the wall. Uh, so everything's up off the floor. Um, there might be some cables that reach the floor, but nothing that's going to, uh, cause any problems if there was ever, like, water or anything like that. Um, so... Then somebody asked about heat, too, I saw in the comments. Uh, if I turn everything on at the same time, sure, you'd have a heat issue. But the way that everything is open in the front, 
uh, and with the pit that's in the back, uh, it allows the heat to dissipate out both the front and the back, so there's no heating issues at all, and you're never going to have everything turned on at the same time. Um, you're just going to have one or two consoles at most on at the same time. Um, this room here, in there, it's just a... I mean, I can open up and show it to you, but it's uh, just a sump pump. This is not a very uh, exciting room. Sump pump um, and storage, small storage there. Plenty of alarms on that sump pump, so if there's any moisture at all, uh, we know. Um, and then we get into, this is my desk area. This is where I do the CAD cast at. Um, so I have my PC there. That PC on the right is just an old Dell that I need to get some uh, data off of before I junk it. Um, and then there's a little shelf up here that I need to organize still a little bit, but it's got a HDMI switcher and a NES Mini and a RetroPie. Um, and everything that goes through that switch can also, including the PC, uh, can go back out onto the projector, onto the big screen. Uh, and everything can get also sent over this way to the, to this monitor as well if I wanted to do that. Um, there's some streaming hardware down there too, but I've I've never really gotten into the streaming stuff, so I don't even know if it uh, is connected currently. Um, yeah, I use a PlayStation uh, 3D display for my monitor. It works fine. Um, let's see here. On this shelf, I've got a, a couple of Masterpiece Transformers figures. Uh, and then some Transformers books, various books. And then this is just a whole bunch of uh, Marvel figures. Um, and some uh, graphic novels, collections, and stuff like that up there. Uh, that's just a G.I. Joe Scarlet print. Uh, these are some of uh, Shipwreck figures. So the original Shipwreck and actually the original Japanese Shipwreck uh, figure too. And then a couple other ones that are more... A uh, little bit more difficult to find, but not anything that exotic. Uh, and then I have some some various uh, shipwreck uh, comics and uh, just some artwork that various comic artists have have done. Uh, I have some other ones that I still need to hang up here. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, and then this is just more. This is a Star Wars shelf essentially. Uh, Gets up into some books, uh, more shipwreck stuff, uh, more G.I. Joe stuff, and some Halo stuff up there. Uh, and we get over to this door, another exciting door. Um, and here is simply the original Circuit Breaker. Um, and it's also where we mounted the... Uh, the cable company's router and modem. Um, so that's all behind this, this door, and it makes it easy to get in there to get to. So we just put the door on there as a simple solution. It makes it look like uh, it's something better back there than what it is. Uh, then just some G.I. Joe artwork. We'll swing back around this way real quick. This is uh, These are our theater seat recliners. Um, and I guess that's getting close to it as far as the, the surroundings. We'll look at the games, I guess, a little bit. Uh, up here, this is a work in progress still, but I had these, uh, arcade marquees turned into LED lights. So we use these, uh, when we turn off all the, uh, the ceiling lights, it gives us backlighting, uh, so that we can, we're not sitting in the complete dark if we don't want to. Um, and so, ultimately, those will go the, the length of that, uh, over top of the shelves there. Um, and those are all on a switch over here, just like the other switches. The other two are on dimmer switches, so all my lights can dim, but these are just, uh, uh, just on a switch there. So, that's what those look like lit up. And then, getting into... Oh, uh, we have one more door. Let's do one more door first, and then we'll get into the uh, the shelves. So this door, this goes, this circles back around to the storage room that I was talking about earlier with the cat boxes and furnace and everything. Um, 
Let me just wave my hand in here real quick. There we go. Um, so this is just where I'll, I keep my tools and everything. And it's also where we installed the, uh, the second circuit breaker, breaker box. So we needed that for all these electronics. Uh, had to break off another box. Um, yeah, in, you can't really see anything in there. It's just basement type stuff. So back into here, we've got the shelves. So all of these were custom shelves. Um, the the bottom halves, those are pre-existing, just like cabinets that you would buy. And then uh, on top of that, it's all, all custom. Um, so just starting off here, tried to get stuff in chronological order, but you soon realize that you need to get everything on the shelves just uh, the best you can. So uh, starting up here, got my boxed uh, NES games. Um, and then it goes to Super Nintendo. And then it looks like it goes, there's some uh, Japanese Nintendo and Super Nintendo games and some Japanese Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games. Uh, then this is all in 64. And then more in 64. Then Game Boy and Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Then more Game Boy. Um, more Game Boy and then DS. More DS. Um, and I primarily just have the stuff that's like boxed out on the shelves. And then what I do for the carts uh, is these drawers down here store all of my loose carts. So obviously this is a bunch of Atari and then my N64 loose cartridges. Uh, and then underneath here is actually... These are my messiest areas that are underneath these cabinets because they allow me to be more messy. But this will get cleaned up eventually. But I keep all my uh, NES cartridges in these, these tubs like this. So uh, these seem to be pretty good about being easy to uh, get in and out. And I can fit several of them in and out there. Uh, and there's just a bunch of comics and stuff down there I need to organize. Um... Then back up on the shelves, continuing on the DS, uh, DS, 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 and then 3DS is down here. There's a game I need to put away still. That's if I put that game away, that'll take me a good maybe 15 minutes because uh, I don't have any a lot of buffer room on the shelf, so it's uh, getting everything down to the bottom. So I'll set some time put that game away. Uh, 3DS some more, then we got the Vita next to its brother, the N-Gage. Um, then we have PlayStation 1, more PlayStation 1. Uh, then more PlayStation 1. They made a lot of PlayStation 1 games. Then we get down and, uh, that's... Dreamcast and Turbo Graphics, uh, 3DO. Uh, these are some more PlayStation One games there, and then the Dreamcast is continued down there. Then the next shelf. Oh, let's do the drawer. This drawer has uh, those are Japanese Super Nintendo games. Cheapy brought me most of those, the E3 one year. Uh, and then Super Nintendo cartridges. And then down here, this one truly is messy. This one's got a whole bunch of cables that I still uh, need to work into the setup. Um, and some strategy guides. And it looks like there's a VIC-20 back there. Um, and some boxes. Uh... Lots of lots of console boxes that I haven't decided what to do with yet. Uh, and okay, so PS3 is here. 
PS3. PS3. And then PS4. More PS4. PS4. And this drawer has more Super Nintendo. And then some Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Color. Um, somebody is asking how much do I vacuum? Uh, like once every two weeks. We have we have a cleaning company that comes out and, and vacuums and stuff. Um, it's not that expensive. Um, it's not like they're here that long. Uh, this one is just chock full of boxes. I, yeah, there's a lot of boxes there. And then we get over to PSP. And then there's some Master System, more PSP. You can see my UMD movie collection. Those are pretty much the only movies that are in here. Um, then... We get down more Master System. Then we get into Genesis. More Genesis. Yes, those are Shirt Tails and Smurfs. Uh, more Genesis. I'm going to guess this drawer has Genesis in it. Yes. So... More Genesis carts there. Then down below here, uh, it's just more boxes. It's a lot of uh, comic long boxes back there in the back. Um, yep, just needs to get organized still. And then we have uh, 32X and some Game Gear. Uh, just some various books. Uh, Atari... Then Sega CD, and 32X, then Saturn, uh, it looks like there's a Hey You Pikachu randomly back there, I think that's the only shelf that it really fed on, fit on really well. Uh, this is just some like random stuff that was in sleeves. So I just stuck them in a little container there, um, and this is just a catch-all for some figures. Then GameCube, and yes, I'm the guy that has all those Animal Crossing amiibos. Um, then in this drawer, we have Master System and Game Gear, and then some various... Uh, uh, portable handhelds. Then underneath here, uh, primarily comics. There's some doubles of consoles, that type of stuff. And yes, I do. I do have uh, plenty of insurance for the person just asking on the live. Uh, and then we get to game more GameCube. Uh, and we and more we. I I like Donkey Kong. Uh, and then more we, and we you. And then Xbox One. And then down here is some Intellivision behind Yoda there. And, oh, these are actually some of those old uh, record books uh, where you would listen to the record and read the book at the same time. Um, and this drawer is just a bunch of PC stuff and headphones. And there's my NVIDIA Shield. And down below I think is just again a bunch of random uh, some consoles 
There's a fan that Cheapy suggested I buy and I never installed in my PC. An HD DVD drive. Uh, and some various odds and ends. More comics. And then the last two uh, shelves, or I guess three shelves, over here. Um, this is PS2. So some of the larger collections fit over here. Uh, PS2. 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 PS2 and Xbox were really when I got my first uh, well-paying job and the collection uh, started amassing a little bit quicker. Um, more PS2. Xbox. Uh, more Xbox. Then uh, more... Xbox and I don't have a lot of the, the collectors or limited editions out that are strange sizes I just store those boxes elsewhere just because they create havoc on the shelves and spacing um, but more Xbox more Xbox at one time I was only like 12 games away from having the entire Xbox, uh, original Xbox uh, collection, but that seemed dumb to me all of a sudden, and I sold a lot of Xbox, actually. Uh, and then we have Neo Geo, and a couple of Switch games that I have, and then we're on to Xbox 360. I actually have to ha use a little stool to get to these uh, games that are at the very top. Xbox 360, Xbox 360, Xbox 360, and there's a cat here, that's Clementine, I'm shooting a video cat. Um, more Xbox 360 more Xbox 360 more Xbox 360 to finish it out so it this is where I keep the control center here the Logitech so anything I want to play I can just uh, I have it all set up here so I can just click on a console and it will launch everything. Every All the inputs are correct. Uh, it'll be ready to go. I just need to turn on the console. Um, as far as controllers go, that is what these drawers are for. And again, these are a little bit messy. Um, not quite what I want yet. But these uh, these little containers here with the dividers work really well. Uh, for storing controllers. Um, some of my older controllers I s still have back in that storage room uh, just because I have a lot of a lot of controllers and need a space to put them. Um, so this is a little bit messier of a controller drawer. And this drawer over here is all portals and that type of stuff. Toys to Life type stuff. And then the toys to life are down here in these tubs. Those are a couple of Disney Infinity tubs. And those are a couple of Skylanders tubs. Um, then over here is where I keep all my controllers charged for those current systems. So I actually don't have any 360 controllers on there. And it's a little hard to see. But there's a PS4 charging um dock there for controllers uh, come on Clem there's a uh, Xbox controller charger there and then uh, that is a Wii U for those of you that don't know um, and just some more controllers down here uh, this is a 
for the ones with cords, sometimes uh, putting them in Ziploc bags keeps it a little bit nicer. So uh, I've got some of the older ones down there. I try to go wireless on controllers wherever I can, uh, just because the distance from this screen to where I sit is a little bit longer than most uh, normal cables would be. Uh, and then this, down in this cabinet, is just, uh, there's some arcade sticks, my Neo Geo sticks, and a bunch of uh, just boxes again. I really think I'm going to move all these boxes up to my attic and uh, make this make all these cabinets more useful. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, that's what I got going on down here. Um, so appreciate you uh, checking it out, and I can go into more detail in other videos if people have questions. Bye.